Hello once again everyone. Uh, I thought I'd show you my new backpack which I got for 55 quid excluding the AT. Um, what's prompted me to get back into waterfed pole was uh, when I knew he fell off in the leaded as I mentioned earlier. Um, I think this is the simplest way to get into waterfed pole. Uh, it's not as though I'm new to it. I had a freedom trolley for about a year and I sold it on. The main reason I sold it was because of the actual weight of it. But I've learnt a real lot from forums and of course actually using the Freedom Trolley itself. I mean, a lot of lads can use it, it's fine. It's a good piece of kit but I found it much too heavy. So what I thought I'd do is start a little series on uh, do-it-yourself water-fed pole for beginners. And I'm really a beginner but um, with the help of the forums I've learnt a hell of a lot. Now, one of the reasons this was only 55 quid is because it was without a battery charger. But I took a chance because I already had a battery charger like this one. And uh, it's got two very small crocodile clips on here. And the first thing I did was see if they'd fit. I took it apart to find out which way round it was. That's important. And uh, the plus side is on here and that will just slot in here and click on that side and that will click on that side but if you're going to do this yourself don't let them touch of course so that's the charging side done another thing what I'll do in this series these straps keep coming off so I'll probably bolt those on although I don't intend to use it actually on my back very often because I've tried it without any water in it and it's, it's pretty crippling although you can get used to it now this one came with this um, trigger mechanism and I'll be trying to figure out some way of incorporating this on my pole because I've got a three section pole and uh, I'll see what I can do about that. This is the only piece I've got left really of my old system. It's these uh, easy lock connectors. I'm going to incorporate those as well. I need to get the male one. Now if you're thinking of a trigger, here's another piece I've got left. Um, you might get it at the hardware store, on off tap, on your pole, you can put it on your pole and you can use it as an on off. So that's as far as we go for today and uh, when I get all the other bits I've got them all lined up from Gardner's pole, I'm going to get a lightweight brush etc. So for now that's uh, job done.